Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we will delve into the latest commands of the Sweet Home 3D Interior Design program. In this lesson, we will first see how to import images, textures and projects using the online version of the program. Later, we will move to the version installed on our computer to export and acquire photos and videos of our projects. To access our account, log in into the Swift Home 3 d website by clicking on the forum page in the support category. Once you have entered your credentials in the appropriate space, click on online. Let's create a new house to see how to import an image into the work plan. Once created, click on the respective edit button. Within our workspace, we can import an image in a few simple steps. To access the command, simply right-click on the grid and select the Import Background Image command. We can drag it from the desktop and drop it in the box below, or we can select it by clicking on the Choose Image button. Supported formats are BMP, JPEG, GIF and PNG. This type of tool is very useful if you want to build an house or apartment based on an already existing floor plan. Therefore, let's proceed with the download of a planimetry easily available on the web. We open a new window and write FreePeak. FreePeak is an online image bank platform where you can find images, photos, illustrations, videos and vector images. To access the site, we click on the first result and in the search bar, we write floor plan. For this type of search, FreePeak has generated different results. By scrolling down, we can find some that might be right for us. For example, let's click on this image of which rawpixel.com is the author. The JPEG format is one of the compatible ones required by the Swift Home 3D software, so we can proceed by downloading the image for free, as long as the author's attribution is declared. We click on Download and choose the file size between small, medium, large and original. Once downloaded, we place the file on our desktop for convenience. Now, let's go back to the Sweet Home 3D page, click on the image, drag and drop inside the box, and click on Continue. The second step requires defining the scale of the image. To do this, you need to move the endpoints of the line drawn on the image by choosing the length. Once the length of the line has been established, we enter its value in centimeters inside the box. In these cases, we can proceed in two ways, establish the entire length of the floor plan or establish the length of a single room in order to proportion the remaining part automatically by the program. For example, let's establish the length of this room by assigning a value of 5 meters equal to 500 centimeters and click on continue. The last step requires defining the origin of the image in the plan, translating the blue pointer on the image plan or establishing the values of the X and Y coordinates in centimeters. Once the coordinates of the origin have been established, click on Finish. Here is our image inserted inside the work plan. To make it visible also within the 3D preview, just right-click on it, select the Modify 3D View command and tick the background image visible in 3D View box. Click on OK to save the changes. Once the floor plan has been imported, it will be possible to reproduce the project in 3D with the commands explained in the previous lessons. For example, we select the Create Walls command to check whether the length of the room established during the import phase actually corresponds to 5 meters. We click once to establish the beginning, and before double-clicking to establish the end, we can see that the length shown is correct, equal to 500 centimeters. By right-clicking on the workspace, it will be possible to modify hide and delete the background image by clicking on the respective buttons. 
Now let's see how to import a text tool. To do this, we just need to access any text tool panel, whether it is of an object, a floor, a ceiling, or a wall. For example, let's use the wall we just created. Let's double click on it. We select one of the two sides, click on the texture command and on the import button. As regards the first step, the texture can be imported in the same way as the background image. By dragging it into the box or selecting it by clicking on the choose image button. By clicking on Find Image, a new Swift home page will open, where a series of texture libraries are made available for download. This can be imported and used only within the installed version of our computer. Therefore, we access the FreePeak site again, and exactly as for the floor plan, we download a texture. For example, let's write Wallpaper. By scrolling down, we select one from the many proposals. The author of the chosen texture is called Gary Killian and allows us to download the file in JPEG format for free, always attributing ownership and credit to the author. We click on Download JPEG and transfer the file to our desktop. Now, let's go back to the Swift Home website and import the downloaded image, clicking on Continue. These new settings allow us to name the texture, place it within a category, selecting one from the drop-down menu, and finally, establish the wide and high in centimeter. In my case, the texture is too dense, so I will increase the wide to 140 centimeters, while the high value will be automatically proportionate. Once the properties have been established, click on Finish and OK. From the 3D preview, it is possible to see the outcome of the new imported texture. By accessing the same settings again, you will be able to modify and delete the imported texture. Now, let's see how to export the project created during the course guides. We click on the online button to return to our account. To export our house, in my case named 02, just click on the export button. Once the file named with the SH3D extension has been downloaded, drag it to the desktop and open the downloaded version of the program on your computer, as the online platform does not offer the possibility of exporting the project in a format other than that of Swift Home 3D. I would like to inform you that the introductory guide 00 of this course shows how to download the program step by step. To import a file only with the SH3D extension into the online version, we can select the file by clicking on the Choose File button or by dragging it from the desktop into this space. Before clicking on the Import button, you must pay attention to the indication present, namely that the maximum size of supported files is equal to 20 MB and that this service could be updated or stopped without notice and that smartphones and tablets may not be able to manage files larger than 10 MB. Once we have checked the box where we declare that we have understood the previous statement, we can click on Import. And here is our imported project. Instead, to import the house into the installed program, we go to File, Open, select the project to import and click on Open. Another way that allows us to access the project directly consists of simply double-clicking on the file. And here is our project. To save the house in 3D Swift Home format from the installed version, we can click on this icon present in the toolbar or we can click on File and Save As. This will open a new window that will allow us to save the file and establish its location on our computer. 
this type of file can be viewed and modified by importing it only into the Squid Form 3D program. A second saving mode could be related to the need to show your concept to someone. In this case, we can make an acquisition of our project by clicking on the icon that portrays a camera. This tool allows us to create a photo from 3D view. We can still access this function by clicking on 3D view and create photo. Clicking will open a new window with settings. The generated image will be the same as the view set in the 3D preview. We can set the width and height in pixels and tick the apply proportion in order to keep the values proportionate. By clicking on the drop down menu next to this, we can select the format of the photo we are going to create. With the slider at the bottom, we can establish the quality of the photo according to our needs. An image generated quickly will have a lower quality than one generated slowly. By clicking with the left mouse button on Create, the image captured from the 3D preview will appear in the window. To change it, we modify the view and click on Create again. Once we have chosen the image, click on Save. We can save the image in PNG format on our computer. For example, let's name the file Home Photo and save it on the desktop. We now have the project in Swift Home file and a specific photo of the house. To see the result, we click twice with the left mouse button on the photo. Having chosen a fast acquisition, the image obtained is a small size and does not have a good quality. But unlike the first file, this is a type of material that can be viewed by anyone. Now that we have seen how to export the 3D concepts of our project, let's see how to share the 2D view. Returning to the program, click on File and go to Print. By interacting with this new dialog box, we can select the printer and establish the type of printing in the presets section, the numbers of copies and uh, pages to print and whether to print in color or on both sides. There is also additional information regarding media and quality, layout, paper handling, watermarker and printer information. Once the settings are in place, click on print. This way we'll have a paper format of our 2D project. To obtain a digital one, we repeat the same process by clicking on File, Print and on the drop-down menu at the bottom left, selecting Save as PDF. With this procedure, we can save the PDF on our computer, select the file name, establish an author, the subject and a keyword. Furthermore, by clicking on security options, we have the possibility of assigning a password to the file to allow viewing and opening and another to copy text, images, elements, and to print the file. Once the changes have been made, click on Save. By clicking on the generated PDF, we can see that the file will be composed of pages that contains the list of objects inserted into the project, a page that presents the project in 2D and a second in 3D. Before digital printing, you can see how the saving will take place by clicking on File and Print Preview. The arrows at the top allows us to scroll between pages. The PDF file, like the PNG, is also a very common and compatible file, therefore it can be shared easily. Let's go back into the program and by clicking on File again, we can change the print settings by clicking with the left mouse button on Page Setup. In this window, we can establish the page format by clicking on the button, selecting the dimensions from the drop-down menu, the orientation between horizontal and vertical, and the size of the drawing. By ticking the boxes, we can decide whether to print the furniture list and whether to print the plan. The last settings present the possibility to select the scale, decide whether to print the 3D view, insert a header, a footer, and establish variables such as time and date.
click on cancel to restore the settings or OK to confirm them. The program features additional saving formats. By clicking on furniture, we can export in CSV format. By clicking on plan, we can save with SVG extension and in the 3D view category, we can save in OBJ format. In conclusion, let's see how to generate a video. We click on the movie camera icon or click on 3D view and create video. This tool is based on a sequence of points of view that are established by positioning the virtual visitor within the work area. Inside this panel, there are several buttons. The red button should be clicked when the virtual visitor is at the main points where the camera should pass during the video. In addition to changing the position within the plan, we can manage the angle of the head, body and height elevation. Let's take a small example. We position the visitor in front of the house on the other side of the road and click on the red button. Now we move the camera forward and once we cross the road, we click the red button again. Let's move inside the house and click the button again to then move inside it. From the map present in the window, we can see where we have positioned waypoints. With the first button to the right of the red one, we can preview the generated animation. With the other keys, we can play the animation at a greater speed, both forwards and backwards, and go to the end or beginning of the animation. The button on the right allows us to delete the last position recorded by the camera, while the one on the left allows us to delete the stored routes. We can establish the format of the video by selecting it from the drop-down menu and as for the photos with the slider at the bottom, we can establish the quality, taking into account that a video generated quickly will have a lower quality than one generated slowly. Once all the settings have been established, click on Create. During video processing, it is possible to check the progress by referring to the number of photos generated out of the total ones and the estimated time remaining. Once finished, click on Save and place the file where we want. With these last tools, we conclude this guide and the course dedicated to the Swift Home 3D Interior Design online program. If you are interested in architectural design, on the channel you can find a video course dedicated to Revit. As regards visualization, rendering and 3D animation, you can follow the lessons on the Blender and Twinmotion programs. To create custom 3D projects and models, you can use SketchUp, 3D Studio Max or Blender. For the creation of advanced renderings, there are programs such as V-Ray, Corona, Octane and Redshift. For any curiosities or further information, the channel presents video guides dedicated to each of them. Thank you for watching this video concluding the course. If you want to stay updated on new guides, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support us, subscribe to the channel as a supporter.